Today on FPV 101, we're going to talk about setting up custom controls for your transmitter in Betaflight. When setting up your drone for the first time, you should always set an arming switch on your transmitter. This will allow you to quickly arm and disarm the drone, so that the props are only spinning when you want them to, and when it's safe to do so. You don't want to plug in a LiPo just to have the drone fly up and hit you in the face, or continue to smash your props after a crash. So setting an arming switch is one of the most important custom controls you can set on your transmitter. The first step is to decide which switch you want to use on your transmitter. For arming, pilots typically use a two-position switch. On your transmitter, navigate to your mixer screen. This process varies on different brands of transmitters. From here, you will pick an auxiliary, or aux channel, to map the control to. Channels 1 through 4 are dedicated to throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll, so choose anything channel 5 or above. Press and hold the enter key on the chosen channel. This will create a new mix. Scroll to source and press enter. The selection will begin flashing, which means it's ready to receive an input to be bound. Flip the switch you want to set the control to, and it will be entered automatically under source. Press enter again to set this value. Next, you're going to connect to Betaflight, but before you do, make sure to remove your propellers. Not doing so can result in you damaging your drone, your workspace, or most importantly yourself, especially if you're planning on plugging in a battery. Once connected to Betaflight, head over to the receiver tab. You're going to need your LiPo plugged in for this next step. On the receiver tab, you should be able to see the channel moving as you toggle the switch back and forth. Now, go to the Modes tab. Here, you can see the many different custom transmitter controls that you can create. Right at the top, of course, is ARM, and since that's what we're trying to set up, we're going to click Add Range. The program should default to Auto in this next dropdown, which should allow you to simply throw the switch you want and Betaflight will recognize that channel. By flipping your chosen switch, you will see its range appear in the form of these small yellow marks. Put the switch in the position you would like to use to arm the drone. Then, drag the bar over the position of that mark. Finally, hit save. By saving, you have now set your custom controller input and can arm and disarm your drone at will. Another important switch to set up, especially for new pilots, is a beeper. Setting up and throwing this switch will cause the drone to start emitting a tone. This will be helpful should you crash and can't seem to locate your drone, and it's especially helpful for micro drones, which can be easier to miss. 